friends, Laura here from Laura's Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how you can add shapes to Cricut Design Space. Start by opening Cricut Design Space, click on New Project, and then click on the Shapes tool in the Design Panel. You can choose from a square, triangle, pentagon, star, heart, circle, diamond, hexagon, octagon, or score line. So go ahead and choose one of the shapes and this will add it to your canvas. If you want to keep everything in proportion when resizing, make sure this blue lock is closed in the lower left corner. You can then drag the bottom right arrow in or out to resize your shape. You can also type the dimension directly into the edit bar. To unlock the shape proportions to create even more shape designs like rectangle or an oval, select the lock icon in the bottom left corner so that the lock is open. Then you can drag your shape to the desired size without worrying about the aspect ratio staying the same. I use this feature a lot to create a rectangle that's 9.25 by 6.75 inches. This is the maximum area allowed for a print and cut design. So I use this as a template to make sure that everything's going to fit when I'm doing a print and cut. To change the color of your shape, simply select this little color icon over here in the layers panel and then change the color of your shape. You can also make this a print and cut and add a pattern to it. You can rotate your shape by clicking and holding this circular arrow in the upper right corner, or you can type the rotation into the edit bar. You can also add a score line to your project to tell your Cricut machine to use the scoring tool. Simply click the Shapes tool in the Design panel and click Score Line. From here, you can resize the score line. I find this easiest to just type it in if you know the exact dimensions. And then, to make sure that everything is centered and aligned, select both your bottom layer and the score line. And then we're going to center horizontally and align to the top. And this makes sure that our score line is right inside of our rectangle, directly in the middle. Make sure you attach the score line to one of the layers in your project. You do this by selecting both your shape and the line and then clicking attach in the layers panel. This will make sure that the Cricut uses the scoring tool at this exact spot on your cutout design. If you want to delete your shape, simply click on the red X in the upper left hand corner. You can also select your shape in the layers panel and click delete. If you're using the shape as a template and you don't want it to be cut or printed with the final design, simply click the shape in the layers panel and click on the eye icon so that it's invisible. You can make a lot of fun projects using only the basic shapes that are provided with Design Space. Using shapes as a template for your final project is the perfect way to be sure everything will fit properly in your final design. Subscribe to my channel and check back each week for more Cricut Design Space Basics tutorials.